سو بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم احمد ہُو اصلی علیہ رسول الکریم محمد الرسول اللہ والذین معاہ اللہ مجعلنا منہم So today I want to talk about one aspect of Fatiha that you can use to visualize uh, especially if you're in Salat al-Jama'ah like if you're praying the Taraweeh prayers or any prayers, the Fara'id prayers where you're praying with the Imam in front of you one of the things that uh, has been lost that I want to bring to the forefront of Sutul Fatiha that it is a dua to make us holy men meaning together meaning we want when you're standing in salah if you ever notice you're standing like rows of an army right and you have the imam in the front of you so you're like praying to allah to make you of the people who allah has blessed an army of the saints an army of people allah has blessed and this wise fatiha is in the plural right because you're praying uh for the people around you first and foremost to make them, like we're standing here in Salat al-Taraweeh, or we're standing here in Salat al-Isha, or Dhuhr, or Fajr. And Allah, guide us to the straight path, the path, the path of those whom you have blessed. Those people that are extraordinary men. And not at all, this word ghayr means not those who Allah has, is angry upon, or those who Allah has led astray. But ghayr, ghayr, this word ghayr, Actually, when you look at the grammar of it and how it's used, its usage in the Quran, the word ghayr means not at all. Definitely not that. We don't want to be standing here in front of you, Allah, and be of those people that you're angry with. Or standing here in front of you people and being of those people that are lost. They don't know what's right. They don't know what's wrong. We want to be of those people you have favored. So we want to be here on the straight path as your holy men, as your saints, as your wali as the awliya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we're here walking in your path together. From aqimu salah from the establishment of the prayers, to if there is a need be, and the crisis come, if the crisis comes, right, or if you're tested, then you're also in just as much the saints of Allah now fighting in the cause of Allah, for a just cause, okay? So now, uh, <clears throat> having said that, let us look at Fatiha from this perspective. So, of course, uh, you start off with the most uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, which there's a, an agreement and a disagreement if it's part of Fatiha or not. Everyone agrees it's part of Quran. Uh, anyhow, uh, so then, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, all praise and gratitude is for Allah, the Rabb, the Lord, the Master, the sustainer of the alameen, of the universe. Okay? And so our needs are coming from Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is wonderful. And He is awesome. And He's praiseworthy. And He is uh, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. But at the same time, He's Maliki Yawmiddin and Maliki Yawmiddin. He's the owner of the Day of Judgment and He's also the King of the Day of Judgment. Okay? Sometimes as a king, but he's not in control of his land. Somebody else is the one who's really the owner. Okay, He's the king, but he's not the owner. Sometimes you have somebody who is the owner of the land, but he's not the king. He's not the one who is symbolically in charge, but he might be in real. So this is Maliki Yawmiddin and Maliki Yawmiddin. Iyaka Ni'abud. And we, standing here together, shoulder to shoulder, right? Uh, stand here together. As what? As your servants. Only you we are servants of. And what? And only you. We seek your help. For what? To become saintly men. To become saintly people. Okay? To walk on the straight path together. In a jama'ah. Okay? When you have, and I'll mention this to you right now. When you have like-minded people praying together. When you have like-minded people praying together and having the feeling we're doing dua for each other, we're doing a collective dua that we become the friends of Allah. We become the only Allah. We become the saints of Allah. We're doing it for each other because we're in the same jama'ah. If, if, if we 
become a jama'ah of saints, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help us. Or if one of us becomes more closer to Allah, even one of us, then his du'as and his fatihah will be accepted for the rest of us. And so, you say, O oh Allah, only we are loyal to you, and we are only your servants, and we are only your slaves. We are, you are our master, and and only from you we seek help. And what is that? What is that we want? What's the song of our life? The song of our life is, Guide us to the path that is most right. Okay? Guide us to the path of those whom you have blessed. Who are the people Allah has blessed? Well, the people Allah has blessed, Sirat al ladina namta alayhim in al nabiyyina wa siddiqina wa shuhada wa salihin wa hasanat ulaika rafiqa. The people Allah has favored amongst the siddiqin, people like Abu Bakr and shuhada and people like Umar and Ali and Uthman. والصالحين, and those who do righteous deeds. And so, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray to him, guide us to the straight path, meaning what? Make us make the right choices. Make us make the choices that you want us to make. Because guidance is about making choices. And life is about making choices. And walking on the straight path is about making choices. Surat al alayhim the path of those whom you have blessed. Let us become those who are blessed, meaning those that are your friends, those that are your favor, those that have your uh, gaze, your gaze of your rahmah on us. Not at all. Let no one standing here in this salah, reading this fatiha, be of those people that is you are angry with, nor those people that have been led astray, ever past, present, future, okay? And so now when you read Fatiha from this perspective, that I'm standing in Fatiha, and I'm saying, Alhamdulillah, all gratitude and praise and awesomeness belongs to Allah. He's Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. He's the master of the Day of Judgment. He's going to hold us accountable. But we're here standing before you, O Allah. For the first thing you see about Ihdi, O Allah, guide us, is that you're begging Allah because it's in Fairul Amr. And there's a command. A command is you give somebody a command, do this. But when you give somebody a command, it's also a sign of begging. Okay. Ihdina. Give us. Meaning, who's us here? Well, us is primarily, when you're in Salat al Jama'ah, is going to be the people you're praying with. Oh, and you make your intention. And you make your imagination. Thinking, okay, Allah, make us us over here, our Jama'ah. Our people standing with us make every one of us blessed meaning make every one of us a saint make every one of us your friend okay and not at all absolutely not of any of us is that you're angry with him or any of us will ever be led astray okay and you read Fatiha with this perspective that the plural as you can see in the surah I'll point this out again if you notice, uh, we only we worship you, and we call we call for your help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those those you have blessed, not of those whom there is anger, nor of those who are misguided. So this plural, right, uh, is uh, meaningful when you're standing together in salah. It's also meaningful when you're praying alone and you're still meaning the same thing that the people that are in your jama'ah, the people that are in your salatul jama'ah, the people that are in, that are like-minded with you, will Allah guide us to become your saints, to become your friends, to become, for lack of a better term, the holy ones, the purified ones, right? And uh, this reminds me for when you look at the rose and you're standing there with the intention of Oh Allah, we all over here, we are only your slaves. And and Allah, all of us here, we only seek help from you. We are at your door. Okay? And only your door. Oh Allah, guide us, every one of us, to the straight path. 
the path of those whom you have blessed. Okay, meaning people like Suleiman alayhi salatu wasalam, Daud alayhi salatu wasalam, Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, Ayyub alayhi salatu wasalam, Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam, right? And all the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to their path. Guide us to the path of Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman and Talha and Zubair and Abdul Rahman ibn Awf radiallahu anhum ajma'in and all the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam guide us, make us like them. Make us a shadow of them. Make us a shadow of their reality so that we also become your friends. Okay, so you're, the thing I'm trying to em- emphasize is the collective nature of the dua. And number two, the dua to make us, what, your holy ones, your saints, your blessed ones, right? Who are like the people that are mentioned with great reverence in the Quran. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make mention of us in the same way uh, amongst his angels, right? So, and not at all, ever, for any of us that are standing here to be of those that you're angry with or to be of those people that will ever be led astray. And so this uh, reminds me, and this is a very, now, uh, I'm going to show you a picture and it's something I relate to, it may not be something you relate to, but it's something that I want to show you to give you like an image if it does, or at least puts the image in my mind as I understand this if you remember the movie star wars right and so there's the jedis and the jedis are like the special people they're blessed and the force is with them and the blessings are like so to say the 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 universe is one with them so to say and god is with them if you want to say the may the force be with you right and so this is like uh these are the people that are praying to Allah that help us reach uh, our potential as your true servants, as your holy ones, in your that are in your army, that are part of your soldiers. We're all your soldiers. And we're standing here as your soldiers praying to you, make us blessed. So that when we do, if we were to go to battle tomorrow, that our du'as would be accepted and our victories would be given to us. Okay, And that there's no one here that would be a cause of interference that no one's here that you're angry with and there's no one here that would ever be led astray meaning everyone here is your friend and everyone here is a person of jannah for tomorrow so this is one of the meanings of surah al-fatiha that i wanted to show you now i was going to show you this picture to kind of like uh emphasize the point uh, let's see if so you know this is like a group of you could say Jedi's right uh, that in, in one of the Star Wars movies I remember like you know uh, seeing like all these Jedi's fighting together like as a jama'ah as a group right and so uh, you know when they say may the force be with you and so on and so forth but over here the training of that the training of this kind of like having this bond this bond of brotherhood comes from <coughs> This dua that you're making with the intention for everybody in the jama'ah. Guide us to the straight path and the path of those whom you have blessed. So every one of us becomes a true servant of Allah, a true friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, so inshallah ta'ala, I'll end here. Assalamu alaikum.